Well guys, it's Kieran or Kilikins HD here and welcome back to Around the World version 2 today. We face up away from home against Port Talbot Town in the Cool Bet Sports World Premier Football League. Christ, that is a long name. And you're going to see one difference. I'll edit it now so you can see what's the difference because I can see it and it looks bloody amazing. We've moved league positions. It's awesome. Get right into it. Let's go. Come on, let's go. So the last episode was not that far away to be honest with you, but um, it's it's a thing, right? You know, we lost we lost five one. The gap Connor's key, I think that's how you pronounce it. I got told in the comments that's how you pronounce it. We have two wins. We have a draw and we have a big, big, big loss. The first win was away from home in the Welsh League Cup. Um, it's third round and it was a great game to play against the scene. There was a name Tom Century or Tom Pentry. We had a fantastic game with Abbotts. You know, he showed up big time. So the Port Manor, so we decided to play up front for the first time. And he showed up alright. Mark Griffiths got a goal for them as well, but that leaves us in the next round where we face off against Afan Lido, our fellow uh, relegation rivals at the moment. It's a big, big game for that one. And then we lost 5 1 away from home against <laughs> Bangor City. Um, if we were more clinical, this game could have been an absolute worldy, but it wasn't. And we conceded the first half hat trick within 13 minutes of Ross Freeman the goal. Wow! Did I leave my phone on again? Brilliant. Apologies for that. The phone is now turned off. I'm, it's just I was keeping it on. But calls. Now, I think I might have finished speaking about Spangor City. It could have been a worldie, you know. Really could have. We actually won a bloody game. We actually won a bloody game. Airbus, UK, Broughton were the opponents. We beat Airbus. Now, they're quite a well-known team. We beat bloody Airbus, lads. That's a big win in itself, really. We actually took the lead in the second minute. Will Abbott took the goal. And they came back in it within eight minutes with, through um, Wayne Riley. And then things turned really good for us. Will Abbott came on and scored another goal in the 18th minute. We actually took him off half time. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, why the bloody hell did you do that? Why did you do that? Jack Laird, right? He's been asking for game time and I thought, right, I know I could have given him a hat trick and I actually did get criticised by the media for taking him off with a hat trick in the way. But you know, I just I took him off. It, you know, it could have been a silly decision to be fair actually because you know he was gonna wait a hat trick. But I brought on Jack Laird who got an assist for Lee Patton who scored to make it three one. But Ryan Wade did get one back and they made it a very tense thirteen minutes plus extra time, but we got through and we got our first run of the season. But to be fair, I think we were quite clinical. Airbus were not getting the um getting lucky really. Our goalkeeper was on fine form. The only player I would feel would have let us down in that game was Phil Clark, who didn't have the best of games anyway. Our final game was against Abersworth Town. Now we actually were two down in this game, we brought it back. Dane Griffiths, Dane Griffiths, sorry, I couldn't say his name, and Jordan Proza giving the gods for them. But after half time, I kind of got aggressive. I said, What's been, I'm not being funny, mate. What, what the hell's going on? You know, we're Will Abbott's had an awful game, so I took him off. We brought on um, Jack Laird. Port Manas came on at some point as well, so they feel Clark, and things changed instantly. Jack Laird in the 67th minute, making it 2 1. In the 93rd minute, the 93rd minute, Lee Patton. He made it. Oh, it was like he made it too. It was amazing. It was honestly one of the most. I, 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 you know, when you get moments in Foot Manager, where you think, oh, this is just bull crap. This is just bull crap. I have never danced around my room like I have after this goal went in. Unbloody believable. I could not believe it. So here is a league table for you. We are eleventh. One win, three draws, four losses. We're not doing too well, but we are away from twelfth, which is great for me. But we're going to try and win today against a very tough opponent in Porth Talbot Town in fourth. It'll be difficult. Why are all their faces blue? Lee Patton, a regen space is blue. Why are all the badges blue? What's going on? Why why is that a thing? Do I do that and then go back? What what's going on? That's a bit confusing, but let's be honest though, Port um Port Talbot Town, sorry, uh the former champions, the current champions, sorry. Um it's gonna be a very difficult game. Here uh, a very difficult game. Wow, you might imagine if I could speak English, it could have been amazing. I could actually be like a decent bloody YouTuber. <laughs> so I'm going to get right into this team. Let's go and have a look. Then, actually, before we go, Lee Patton, seven goals. Unbelievable. Here is the sign I'm going to choose for this big away game against Port Tower Town. I'm expecting a bloody battering, by the way. You are so. Let's start with the Port Talbot Town. On the bench today, I have McFenton, Jones, Roche, uh, Souter Hill. Souter Hill, is it? I don't know. Hill, Hill. They've got two hills. That's amazing. They've got a big hill. And uh, Hewitt. They I can't believe they've got two hills. Can you imagine how big that hill is? We're going to start from up front today. We're going to start with Bowen, who's up front. And then go in the midfield of Thomas, Diallo, McCresh, Hassel, and a uh, defensive. Wow. He looks very defensive. I might have to keep an eye on him. Um, in Roberts. And then they've got Powell, Williams, Evans, Tatum, and in goal is Can. Powell looks more attacking, so I'm probably going to have a look at probably closing him down, uh, mark him a bit more, make shut him down. Um, in our bench, by the way, we have Mullock, Connolly, Miley, McManus, Mullen, Evans, and Laird. And in 
the starting eleven. Start from with Will Abbott and Lee Patton as a defensive forward. We have a defensive winger, Aaron Lemon. <laughs> and we have App Daffin, who's also um, very, very defensive. We have Lewis Harling. Is it Lewis Harling? It is Lewis Harling. I know names. And it's Kyle Bassett on the right midfield. And in the defensive position, we have Harry Waters, Scaris, Brick Clark. And in goal, we have Axum. Now, you're going to notice we've got a couple of defensive formation kind of thing here. We've got Lemon on defend, Abdaffin on defend, and Lee Patton as a defensive forward. The reason I'm doing this is because they're fourth. They're the champions. We need to be careful. They're running a 4-5 arm. We're probably going to get very much squished out in this midfield. So let's get around to this game and hopefully let's do something about this game. Because if we can win today or just get a point, it'll be huge for us. Well, this game is underway, and I was on the wrong screen, so that bloody lovely zooming out highlight I usually do, not happening today. Look at, why is that always so squished out? Don't even score right now. It was very zoomed in. I don't know if they've got just a massive pitch, but I feel like it's extremely zoomed in. So, um, they've got, uh, this. is it zoomed in? That can't be zoomed in. I think they've just got a massive pitch, haven't they? Because they're absolutely dicking it, isn't it, really? Look at the size of it. The goal's on the other side of the bloody screen. I might have to, have to take off the feedback. That's really irritating. <laughs> I want to quickly take a look at Josh Powell, he is the left back who's on attacking, we're trying to see what he's been doing in terms of crosses, he's not hit any crosses so far in passes, he's, uh, we've intercepted only one pass and he is doing the job down there. I did put him on tight mark, I'm closing down sorry, and I have put a specific marker on him as well, so hopefully that does the job, but they're getting a lot of crosses in, in terms of stats they have four shots and now we have zero, so I'm also going to encourage the team a bit, going calmly and going, encourage the team and hopefully that pushes them on. Hassel on the ball now for Port Talbot Town, oh parry, great. Get that! Oh, why is number 10 not chasing that down? McCresh to Thomas. They're going to get a goal here. I can already tell. Tatum is on the ball with McCresh. Back to Diallo. Lovely play by Port Tumbertown to Bowen. To Thomas. And what a save by Mr. Askew. We have, well, we have to defend the corner now. And it's going to be Roberts who puts in. They're going to get a goal from it. Scarsabrick clears it. And Roberts back on the ball. What's the ball in? And Aaron Lemon clears it. Back to Roberts again. Scarsabrick clears it. Wow, we're getting very lucky. We've not had a shot in this game. Can we break? Go on. Pattern. Pattern. Run, mate. Go on. You're very fast. Go on. Oh, he gets tackled. This is, I really think we should try and um, get some more shots, so I'm actually going to, whoa, why can we not make the team talk, why not, tell me why, okie dokie, maybe I should do more instructions, and we're actually slightly higher, and I'm actually going to try and, um, sorry, I just got, I lost my track, and I really lost my track, I was really confused, I just got a message on Twitter, and it just threw me off, so I'm actually going to go more direct, and hopefully we can go for this a bit, well actually, no, because Will Abbott has picked up a, um, a knock, Indicating he wants to come off of a groin strain, and the bloody tactic hasn't even gone through yet. So let's um do that. Let's take Will Abbott's off. Cheers, pal, and let's bring on Mr. Jack Laird, who's also fantastic as an advance forward. So that's our first change of the game. 26 minutes in, not the change I wanted to make so early on. We have a highlight just for half time here. Can clears it as far as Roberts. Oh god, don't let them score now. I think we've done quite well since going direct. Diallo, Diallo to Thomas. Can we get a challenge in? I'm not. We're gonna. We're not gonna get a challenge in. McCresh. Gonna put it down the right hand side to Thomas. Lovely passing play. Back to McCresh again. He's gonna go left or right. He goes right. Back to Tatum. Can we get a tackle in? We can't. McCresh to Hassel. He's, oh, he's hassling the defense moment. I'm sorry for the pun. I'm really sorry, pal. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Roberts, get a tackle in. Oh, he's so close. Roberts to Bowen. Left hand side to Powell. Powell whips it in. Thomas scores, and it's 1 0 to Port Talbot Town. And honestly, they, they probably deserve it. They've been really good today. We've had two shots, one on target. They've had five on target after nine shots. They probably deserve it. But to be honest, we've not done that bad. I think we've defended quite well. It's just a case of, you know, they're finally getting in now, and we have to be careful coming into second half now. Let's give a look at this 3D highlight then, because it's, I bet it's a lovely little header. I reckon it's a header, and let's have a look at Roberts. Why is Bowen passing like nothing's there? Powell, he's now ice skating. Powell, again, whips it in, ice skater. Thomas volleys it in, that's a really lovely volley. That's amazing, and it's 1-0 before half-time. Half-time, 1-0. I'm going to go cautious and say... We can still come out with this win today, which is probably is the worst thing I could ever say. But you know what? It's gone down all right, actually. We're going to go passionate as well and say uh, there's, more, well, there's a lot more to come from you, and I reckon you can do it. So hopefully that works. And it, wow, it's working the charm. Look. <gasps> Brilliant. Right, I'm also going to change up a tactic a little bit. I'm actually, what I'm going to do is um, take Al Daffet off and, as, a support, um, as a defender and bring him up to support. And I'm also going to put um, Aaron Lemon as actual winger. It might change. It doesn't change much. But you never know, it could change a whole lot. So that is our changes for the second half. Can we push on and get a goal? So the second half is underway, and I'm actually going to put in the zoom out thing there, because it makes it easier. And now I've actually decided that I think we can get a good point from this game, because I think we're going to be playing fantastically. Jack Laird, since Carl Line, has been absolutely superb. Superb! And I really think we can get something. 60 minutes in, I'm making my second change of the game. Now, it's going to be a bit of a, a mental one, to be honest with you. But I'm going to take off um, Parry. Switch him out with Lemon, and then take Parry off, and um, bring a McManus, and then push him up as an advanced midfielder. 
um, on an inside forward on attack. <laughs> I think we can get. I really think we can get something from this game. The left side is a bit open now, but don't worry. I think we can get something. I really feel like we can get something. I really do. <laughs> Final change of the game now. George Mullin on. Lewis Harlan off. Going to bring him on an attacking centre midfielder. I want to go for this game so bad that I'm bringing on a 19-year-old. He's not even that good. Come on, let's, let's please let me get something in this game. Should we go attacking? Uh, this is the change that changes everything because, you know, when I usually make that change, we lose like 10-0. So hopefully that doesn't bugger things up. But you never know. It probably will. Eight minutes gone now. 80 minutes gone, sorry. It's probably not going to work. But I'll tell you what. I would have took a 1-0 loss at the end to start this game. Then they fought the champions, you know. But with seconds to go now, 88, 89, 90, I feel like this game is well and truly over unless this something comes on this highlight. Makish to Patton, Diallo will now get the ball to Bowen. If it finishes 2-0, I think this is very undeserved. Diallo, big ball up to Thomas, he's going to get that before everybody else. Thomas gets past his man and scores. To be honest, I don't feel like that's deserved as much as it should be. They've, they've got the goal, it's 2-0 Port Talbot Town. I don't know if that's deserved. I, I know our stats say, you know, we've not had the best of the game, six shots, you know. And the possession as well. But I don't know, I, I haven't seen enough from Port Talbot Town to say they deserve that. I know they've had the shots on target, I know they've had the possession. But I don't know if they f I feel like they should deserve that goal, that goal, you know. I don't know about it. I really don't. And I really feel like we should have got something from this game because we were a lot better than the stats say we were. McManus puts it to Mullen. Well, well Mullen doesn't go and change that down because he's George Mullen and I brought him on. And that's why I don't bring people on who are 19 or something like that. We lose 2-0 on the day. I'm going to go cautious and say um, unlucky boys. It wasn't our day. And it works out because I feel like we did play well. I really do feel. You know, the stats say six shots, one on target. What even is that? And, you know, 44% of possession isn't the best driver. But we didn't play that bad. I really didn't think we played that bad. They got up to second. We are still on 11th though because Afan Lido have not played or they actually lost their game on the previous day. Casey Thomas wins it for Port Talbot Town over two goals and the end of the first half and the end of the second half. So it's the end of the day. It's a 2-0 loss and it's a shame. Gap Connor's a key one today as well. Airbus drew with Bangor City. Here is the inbox. I'm not expecting too much. Uh, we are powerless to resist as Port Talbot Town dominate. I don't know, man. I feel we played much better. Well, I feel we played better than we have in previous games. Also going to skip the press conference. Now, the next game, it has to be a big game. It has to be a humongous game. Now, I know... It's quite a bit far away. Four Premier League games, two Welsh Cup games, Welsh Cup and Welsh League Cup. But it's 11 versus 12. It kind of has to be this game. It's Afan Lido versus Ryle FC, and it's going to be a huge game. I will see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. And if you did, tell me in the comments down below. And I will see you all very soon for another episode of Around the World Version 2.